I don't want to go ahead of the uh, ranking member if she's prepared to speak, but I'm, I did want to comment on... Um, go ahead. I'll go after Okay. Um, we have um, before us um, one of the judges who elicited fairly significant comment, Van Dyke, correct? Um, and since the hearing and the conversation that we had, uh, a couple of things have happened. Um, there was uh, criticism of the lead uh, lawyer of the uh, ABA review that was so condemnatory yeah, of yeah. this individual. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I think we now all know or are in a position to know if we ask, uh, for those who have not yet asked, that those criticisms were completely misinformed and misguided, and that the calumniation of that woman was unsupported um, and wrong, in fact. Um, so as a reason to ignore the ABA's uh, condemnatory opinion uh, of this judge, that one has just evaporated. Um, and I'd add as a footnote that when members of this committee calumniate private individuals like that, there is often a reaction from the far right um, in terms of threats and abuse, and we should be sensitive to what we say about private individuals here, knowing that that is going to be a likely reaction. The second concern about the ABA report was that we were not privy to the evidence that supported the condemnatory conclusions about this judge. So it's a little bit of a mystery to me how when we're perfectly willing on our side, I think, to have the ABA people come in and lay out in a private forum what the evidence was for those conclusions. So now we're voting on this person and the supposed rationale of political bias on the part of the ABA lead is completely false. And you've had every chance you could to find out what you said you wanted, which was what's the evidence behind these accusations, and nobody's bothered to do that. So um, I regret very much that we're going forward. I think we're going forward on automatic pilot with no real reason to ignore the ABA's conclusion, but simply because the conveyor belt of these judges must be fed, and there's no stopping anyone, no matter how unqualified or inappropriate a candidate they may be. So I would um, close with that.